quick through this. Um, remember what I said to you when you come up on board, have a look around and see what you can see. So what can you see? Straight off, come on. Take you all about about three seconds to have a look at it. Navigation equipment. We don't have 1.2 metres. That, no, that's right. Okay, well, well, well we, 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 we have to sort of make a few uh, exceptions here. And, and those exceptions are, this is an old timber fishing boat, which has probably been quite well maintained and it's operated in this format to the best of our knowledge for many years so and it's worked satisfactorily it's been issued with, with with certificates and so on and so forth so therefore we have to make the assumption that it probably um, has been okay now what we need to be looking at here from from the surveyor's point of view is what is it that, that, that we need to put our heads to that might create some sort of an influence here Look over your head here, you've got speaker, 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 radio speaker, radio speaker, radio speaker, radio speaker, microphone. Have a look down there. Goodness gracious me, the fisherman's, the fisherman's friend, the loudspeaker for his, uh, for his computer to watch his uh, um, movies on. You've got the older style here. Now, the other thing that um, should be shown here somewhere on this, if my glasses are in my pocket, I didn't get lost in the ass ribbon competition, it says something says uh, can't see it on that one but normally most of this electronic equipment will have a compass safe distance right it will say you know uh, not less than um, you know 0.65 or 0.7 of a meter all right so you need to be aware of all this it does happen um, but uh, you know you need to be aware of it when you see a deviation card that looks perfect you always must question it because in many, 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 many years of actually doing compass cards and deviation swings, I've never yet seen an absolutely perfect situation. Uh, one of the points I made to the guys, fire control panels, right, you've got an alarm. The alarm systems in a lot of cases have got piezo um, uh, triggering devices. These will create a magnetic field. Have a look how close it is. All right, now, for those of you who are close enough, can you have a quick look at the compass and tell me what what you think? It's a bit hard to read, isn't it? Where's the light, Lord? I'm assuming the light works. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. So you have a look? No, no, no. Alright. Okay, well I'll tell you for free. Um, this thing has failed. Completely, totally and absolutely. You can't you can't read the card, you can't work you couldn't steer a course on that in the pink fit. So the thing there is is that basically it's a yeah. no go. Yeah. It fails. There's no two ways about it. It fails. Job done. Move on. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Skiver. Ah, don't accept it. And if he says, oh, but the compass adjuster said, look, it's only a week old, and you say, better go back because I'm telling you, it ain't happening. All right. And you've got to be quite firm about this. The other point, you remember I was saying to you that there's all sorts of different gear for adjusting. You know, you've got rods, you've got brackets, you've got all sorts of stuff. If you have a look at this particular compass, it was originally built with scissor magnets in it. And those little scissor magnets normally sit like that. You've got a little device here, that, uh, like a square-headed screwdriver that pokes in a hole, and then you wind it out. And as you wind it out, so these magnets come out, create forces, you know. Um, you've got your, your, uh, your C force here and your B force here, so north, south, north, north, south, east, west. But in this case, somebody obviously, because of the way it's fitted, you can't get those correctors in. They've said, oh, all right, well, what we'll do is we'll just pluck it all out and we'll stick them on the outside. That's fine. Same job. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the numbers are, but if you, if you have a look, and I'll get out of the way in a minute, you can see here you've got a red and a blue, and you've got the red and the blue here. Obviously, we've got a real issue here with the uh, visibility. Um, it fails completely. Uh, we will ask if there is a light for it. I can't see a compass light here somewhere, but anyway, we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, any other questions? So that distance, these speakers, even though they're quite a distance away, that still um, potentially I'm, could have an effect. They, they could do, Graham. I, I personally, I think, you know, we're probably just about outside of the range. The easiest way of finding out, if if, if you do, once, once the adjuster does the initial, what we call the initial swing, drafts down all the details, he can see straight away on the numbers and he just says, yep, okay, that's that, 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 and that. Ooh, you were looking a bit ugly on quadrantle. The first thing I'd go for is that, yeah. and most probably yeah. that. That one I would want taken away straight away. So that area, the quadrantal areas, can actually point to the, the area that's having an effect on it. Oh, straight away, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you have a look at it, I mean, yeah, okay, fair yeah. enough. That's that's sort of, you know, not far off from a thought ship. Remember what I was saying? Yeah. Keel runs fore and aft. Most of the dashes and things run on thought ships. Yeah. All right? So it makes it nice and easy.